Now we're going to talk about infectious packaging and how to, how to package infectious substances. First, you have your primary that's a sealed, leak-proof primary container. Goes into the bubble wrap, rolled up, and then we put it inside the canister. In the bottom of the canister, we have uh, your required absorbent. Goes into the canister. That is then put on there and securely closed. This is, again, the 95 kPa pressure vessel that is uh, required for uh, shipping infectious substances. That then goes into your outer container, your third part of the uh, triple packaging. And again, one of the things that uh, AirC has, and I think better than anybody, is they have packing instructions. This is a regulations required. It comes in all your packages. Then we have the uh, flaps that are numbered one, two, three, and four that are closed. And then, to complete that, we put on your infectious substance label. There's a, a, a place on the front of that box that indicates where that is to be placed. And then you have your infectious substance package complete. Now, one of the other things to notice, RC has a complete line of infectious substance packages from very small up to very large amounts of specimens that nobody has to ship ambient, refrigerated, or large amounts of dry ice for uh, long term. So again, if you want uh, to find out more about the information, ARCDG.com.